Yeah, so we're gonna see her again. That's nice. Hey guys, Dakar here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by because today we are on Lucifer Season 3, Episode 5. If you would like the full uncut versions of these reactions, please check out my Patreon. A link to that will be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get straight onto this episode, guys. Mm. Oh, Simon. Over his face. Working late, huh? Orders went up again. Gotta make another batch. Mm. If you don't eat it all first, Lalo. Somebody there? He's gonna die. I'm calling it now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> oh, hell. Trixie. Wonder Woman. Oh, Mom, I lost Wonder Woman's lasso. No excuses. You know the rules. Trixie. Ah, good morning, Detective. This makes me love her even more. I that she loves Wonder Woman. The text said to meet you here. Yeah, I don't think it said to barge in like you own the place. Hello? It's kind of full, that swear jar. Swear jar? Oh, yes, Trixie's. You give your child money every time she swears? Oh, bravo, detective. No, no, no. She pays for every bad word she says. Ah, well, then I'm even more impressed. Really? Thank you, Lucifer. Impressed that you extort money from your offspring. I mean, what a ridiculous idea. Bad words. Here, child. This should buy you plenty of juicy words. You swear away. Look, Trixie. I am trying to get her to stop swearing and teach her accountability. Ever heard of it? Yes, I have, actually. And I happen to think accountability is overrated. I mean, take your almost getting shot at the ranch. First, I felt bad I wasn't there to protect you. I've decided I shall no longer be affected by my father's shenanigans. Really? Why do I doubt that? But... Trixie, because money in the jar, that? then off to school. Oi vey. Someone forgot to exfoliate. Holy... Victim's name is Simon Fisher. 42. Senior food chemist for performance pudding plus. Well, he obviously drowned in this vat of semen. Pudding, Lucifer. Sure. I've heard it called that too. Poor dude oh, didn't drown. And please. aside from his Freddy Krueger makeover, no other wounds, so. My money's on death by scalding. Well, I'm sure our resident pudding fan must be loving this. I'm a joke, man. Pudding plus is my favorite, okay? It's big business, thanks to the secret recipe that Simon created. How can I even eat this after what I've seen? Oh, Someone trying to tell me down. something? Did you bring the tapes? Sorry, but no. What? Why not? Because I told him not to. I'm Mr. Yates' attorney, and the LAPD isn't laying a finger on those tapes. Ma'am? No, no. This has got to be Charlotte Richards, right? It can't be Mom. You are not crazy. No one knows you can't remember the last few months. You will pretend that you do. Own it. You will not, not give them a reason to put you in a padded cell. Charlotte, we just didn't expect to see you so soon. Thought your brush with death kind of changed you. Apparently, someone was trying to speak to my client without counsel. I am here to inform you that a stunt like that won't stand, nor will your request for any security footage. We just wanted Mr. Yates' help. It's awfully curious timing you back in my life with everything that's happening. <laughs> this is about me, isn't it? If this was a social visit, you would most certainly know. Still waiting for Pudding Man's autopsy. Right, okay. Cleaning that tasty treat off a boiled corpse? Tougher than you'd imagine. I'd rather not you imagine, see actually. Reaction to see you now. Oh, hey, let's go somewhere that's not here. Like, over there. I hear over there is really nice. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Oh, yikes. <sighs> but I did find one other person with a key card, an old one, Adrian's former business partner, Grace Foley. She left the company two years ago to start her own rival pudding company, Heavenly Pudding. It's fascinating. Yeah, they're shooting their ad campaign here on stage 69. Mm -hmm. Asher. That's nice. 
Just try, I know you're not listening to me. Can you see Flasher, stage 69? 69? What? Where? Maybe you need a distraction. Something else to focus on. Well, I mean, that might do it. Detective. <laughs> you have never been more right. But, no, I meant the case. To focus on the case. Excuse me. Grace Foley. Well, why are your clothes still on? I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> LAPD, we have some questions for you. How well did you know Mr. Fisher? Simon. I've been trying to poach that genius ever since I started my own company. Then what? You got tired of him rejecting you, so you snuck into his lab and licked the pudding off every inch of his beautiful... Please. <laughs> Sorry. You think I killed him? Again, Vengeance, corporate sabotage, all in one fell swoop. It makes sense. <laughs> she wants her lawyer here. So? So, maybe you should find out what she desires more. Oh, you want to... Just, yes. Okay, then why don't you just ask? Miss Foley. Personal space, ever heard of it? <sighs> you don't want to call your lawyer, do you? What are you doing? Come on, tell me what you really want. What's your greatest desire? My greatest desire yeah. is to... Stop shooting this exploitative garbage. I didn't need to steal their recipe. Simon offered to sell it to me three days ago. What? But then, before I could agree to his terms, he was murdered. If Adrian found out, he'd want to stop Simon and... Lucifer. Uh... Yes. So I'm going to ask Grace a follow-up. Why don't you take your new friend and escort her back to her trailer? The trailer? Are you suggesting? Who are you and what have you done with the detective? Put this on her. She looks cold. Copy that. <laughs> Darling, would you like to take five in the trailers? And that's really why I just need sad, to guys. speak to the woman whose body that once has my mother's dying. soul. LAPD, don't move. Where do Let I Let me know guess, that you work for Adrian Yates. From? I think you've got me confused with somebody else, lady. I don't think I do. Saw you watching us earlier. Detective, what's happening? Sometimes big corporations, they have fixers on their payroll to prevent corporate espionage. Or clever detectives from learning about said espionage. Oh, Oof, I have seven. Sorry to keep you I waiting. Is right there now. something I can help you with? Yeah. Answers. What's with the cold shoulder, Charlotte? Not just back at the precinct, but my calls. <laughs> you haven't returned any of them. I'm sorry, I've been incredibly busy. All that time. What did you think we were? What did you think we were? I have no freaking clue. I, you seduce me. You hack into my phone. You become a suspect in a case. You tell me I'm your, your favorite human, whatever that means. You almost die and then you ghost me for weeks. Nothing about any of that makes any sense to me. I'm sorry, Detective Espinosa. You know what? I'm just, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let Lucifer deal with you because he's the only one who ever really, I guess, understood what you were up to anyways. So Lucifer and I were close? Oh, in ways that I'll never understand. She's handling this. Yes, I, I completely understand. And I will and definitely talk to, to Trixie. This won't happen again. She's crazy. She's, Thanks. So she's stepping carefully. It's Charlotte time. You're not Charlotte. And yet, people get us confused, like, all the time. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Charlotte is busy at the moment, so Richards and Wheeler sent me. Charlotte will be here. Maybe. Yes. Wow. Yes, Hello. Be. But she's going to think that they were, like, together. What together, are you doing right? here? Oh, Mid? that'd be weird. Mid? That'd be weird. <laughs> Weird, weird, weird. What in dad's name are you doing? Oh, don't pretend you didn't like that. Well, I most certainly did not. Christopher, I know we were close. Not that close. Oh, no sense in being coy. We're all alone here. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's the weirdest scenario ever. I don't ever. understand. First time since I woke up on that beach, and then finally, something that makes sense. Of course, I'm sleeping with Mr. Taldark and Handsome. I can assure you that you and I have that not, or will not, drink. ever, <laughs> ever, ever sleep together. Well, if not lovers, then what were we, friends? 
more like family. I can't, can't take this anymore. I really feel for her because she, she's probably just lost everything. Someone needs to explain what what's happened. Come on, Lucifer. Stop. I'm, I'm missing time.